hi guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to do the inspired makeup tutorial so the inspiration that i'm taking from is the recently released song called ice cream so this song is by blackpink it's Lina gomez uh, if you don't know who blackpink is um i guess most of you know uh, but if you don't know no problem i'm going to introduce you so the blackpink is the girl band from korea so this band has four girls named zeni jiso lisa and rose and these girls are really popular all around the world and they have really amazing songs and which I listen to most of them as well and recently they have released a new song called ice cream with Selena Gomez and Selena Gomez is an American pop singer if you don't know about her I am a huge fan of her uh, I don't know from when uh, maybe eight years or more than that I'm really really big fan of Selena Gomez so I follow her I don't know from when so without rambling much I'm going to do today's makeup so the makeup that I'm taking the inspiration from is this one uh, she is Zeni from that ice cream song and the makeup look that I'm going to recreate or taking inspired from is this one so see Jenny and oh sorry and I've already done my hair something looks similar like this so let's get started with the video so i've already done my skincare off camera and i'm going to do my base first so looking at the base this looks really skin like base so to create the skin like base and glowy base i'm going to take this mac strap cream that is in the shade pink light this is in mini size uh, it's really cute so i'm taking the pea size amount and I am spreading this all over my fingertips and first of all I'm um, applying this on my higher point and with the circular motion I'm massaging it on my skin so it gives my foundation a really healthy glow if you want to apply your matte foundation but you want to look natural so this strop cream will help so that's why I'm doing that and the foundation that I'm taking is this Maybelline Fit Me Matte Plus Poreless Foundation that is in the shade 332. I'm going to, so I've taken out two pumps of this foundation and I'm going to apply like so. And I'm building this foundation very little by little. I don't want to overdo the foundation for this look because her skin looks very natural so I want to only even out my skin not go ham with the foundation so I'm applying it in a very little amount to fake it like my skin I think this is all about foundation and this much is remained so I'm going to apply underneath my face that is this chin area to make it seamless so i'm taking this revolution conceal and defined concealer in the shade 10.5 c 10.5 i'm just doing this this and this i'm not going ham with my concealer as well just to correct my dark circles and to give it a little bit of highlight under my eyes so that's it so first of all i really really correct my inner corner and then i'm going to blend on the outer corner and then i just dab it on the middle just to give a natural and highlighted effect look at this you can see the difference it doesn't look kiki at all and it looks very natural but covered my dark circles as well so this is all I wanted and I'm just going to repeat the same on the outer corner after finish the blending on the outer corner and just taking that sponge and just to dab dab on the middle so it will create really natural 
finish highlighted finish and it will cover up my dark circles as well so I just go with sponge beauty blender with nothing on that and just do dab dab on my eyelids and it will cover up that darkness so this is my base it looks really natural so to set my under eyes only i'm going to take this revolution luxury banana powder so this is a kind of yellow powder so taking very little amount of powder on the brush i'm going to set it like so just i just want to set this area as well where my uh, nose area gets really oily very fast so i just want to make it matte okay rest of the face i don't want to toss with the powder i really like how it looks i want to look at the picture again um, i want to see her blush bronzer and highlight it looks nothing on this picture but uh, i think i'm going to do very little amount of bronzer blush and highlight so for that i'm taking this essence hey chicks blush bronzer and highlight palette so i'm taking uh, this muted kind of color to apply on the apples of my cheeks so the Korean makeup is all about blushes and looking pretty so that's why I'm doing blush first after applying this blush it looks kind of healthy and taking a little bit of bronzer very little bit uh, I don't see any bronzer on her face in this picture but I'm going to do it I don't want to do any crazy type of bronzer but just to give that natural kind of finish without bronzer I don't know how my makeup will look natural so I'm applying for the sake of natural makeup and all the way here on my chin very little bit all right and with the same big brush i'm going to take out this highlighter from the same palette it's not over the top kind of highlighter it's just subtle so i'm doing this thing and the highlight looks very natural so this is all about my base i just want to see the picture again and to do my brows now i want to do my brows i think the picture looks really really soft and i have very dark brows look at this so to create this soft kind of brows i don't want to fill it or draw any kind of lines i just want to go with this essence make me brow eyebrow gel mascara so this is in the shade blondie brows so let's see how my brows will turn out after applying this um, let's pray for the best I'm just applying it on the upward motion I don't know how it looked it looked kind of ashy I don't know With this definitely uh, made my brows soft but it kind of looks ashy. Okay, I'm taking this Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Kit. So I'm taking this soft brown shade from this Ultimate Brow Kit powder. And I just want to, to like this kind of thing here. Because my brows looked really messy and I didn't like that look. Okay, I'm happy with this one. You can compare it. It made a whole lot of difference. My brows here are similarly, very similar to this 
dark brown kind of here and and comparing to this it is kind of soft brown which I went for with this brown gel but it made it essay so I'm just Applying the soft brown kind of seat. I'm so sorry I forgot to connect my microphone to my camera. I messed up with the sound before, so I'm so sorry for that, but now I knew it. And let's move on to my eyes. So in the outer corner, she has a green type of shadow. So I'm doing the same thing. So I'm taking this kind of small brush and I'm taking the green type of shadow that looks similar to this. And I'm just applying it on my outer corner like so and to blend the edges I'm taking the big kind of fluffy brush and blending out the edges. Our edges look really blended so that is what I'm going to do. I'm again applying the same shade just on the outer V of my eyes and I'm blending the edges again just applying the circular motion this is all about that green she has this purple kind of shadow so for that I think this will be the similar kind of shade and I'm just applying it above my eyeball like so and blending the edges on the inner corner she has really pretty bright kind of pink shade so for that i think this will do the job i am just blending those edges and to highlight my inner corner i'm going to apply this shadow And I want to line my eye with this Essence Liquid Ink Eyeliner. Her eyeliner is nothing crazy, just it is winged out on the outer corner. And looking at the picture, I don't think she has applied any eyelashes, but she has some kind of lashes there. So I'm going to do with my mascara. So first of all, I'm going to curl my lashes. So, and apply this Catrice Rock Culture Volume Mascara. This is waterproof mascara, and I really like this mascara nowadays. I don't want to do any kind of craziness with the eyelashes, too, because I didn't see her lashes that much. So, this is all. I'm doing with the lashes. Alrighty guys, I'm going to do the same thing on my other eye and I'll be right back. Alrighty guys, this is my eye makeup. It's very simple, it's colorful, but it's very easy to do. And it looks very pretty on the eyes. I really like it. And let's move on to the lips. So for the lips, I don't know what she is wearing. What kind of color? I think it's peach. Okay. She is wearing this peachy kind of lips. So for that, I have this golden rose velvet matte lipstick in the shade 24. It's peachy and it's kind of orangey. It's most, it's mostly orangey, but it's kind of peachy as well so um, let's apply it on my lips and her lips kind of looks glossy as well um, so first of all I want to apply this lipstick all over my lips you hey guys this golden rose lipstick in the side number 25 came out uh, really orangey on me uh, but I think uh, Jenny has a little bit of pink on her lips so i'm going to add this essence lipstick uh, this is ultra last instant color in the shade number 13 so i'm going to this is pink kind of lipstick so i'm going to add a very little bit to make it a little bit pink so i'm mixing it and 
it became quite a loud than I prefer so I just want to blot with the tissue paper all right uh, this is the flush of color of somewhere kind of peachy and a pink lipstick and I'm going to add a little bit of gloss so the gloss is from essence again and it is in the shade pretty in hibiscus um, that is 28 and this is what it looks like so I'm adding very little bit because her lips look quite shiny I just want to blot this gloss again a little bit because it came out quite shiny so this is somewhat similar to the Jenny's lipstick alright guys at last I want to set my face with this Catrice Prime and Fine uh, anti sign fixing spray I just want to spray it all over my face and it gives really nice glow and it sets my makeup as well Alrighty guys, this is the final look and this is what it looks like. I'm pretty much happy with what I uh, got on my face and I really liked it. If you liked it, please give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel as well. And if you have any other suggestions, like if you want any other inspired makeup tutorial like this from any kind of videos, please suggest in the comment down below. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.